This morning, we have the home video that everybody's talking about. It was shot by private investigators hired by the Anthony family. And those two PIs say that the footage shows a wooded area off of Suburban Drive. They also say it's the exact same area where Kaylee Anthony's remains were discovered. Here's the deal, though. Video apparently covers the entire area shown in yellow here, not just the area where her body was found, as you see right there, a little circle there. Now, the men who shot it say the video was taken one month before those remains were found. Let's get out to Tiffany Tiff live out there along Suburban Drive. We still see the memorial right over your shoulder there. And Tiffany, certainly some controversy about what these private investigators are doing with the video. Can you explain that? Yeah, Eric, you know, there's two private investigators involved, one who you will see on the video. The other one is the man behind the camera. That is Jim Hoover. Now, he is being accused of trying to sell this tape to the media. But I want to make one thing clear. Channel 6 did not buy this tape from Hoover, nor did Fox News, who graciously gave us a copy. Now, the video is from mid-November. Private investigator Jim Hoover is the man behind the camera shooting Dominic Casey, another private eye for the Anthony family. Now, Hoover claims Casey knew Kaylee was dead and that this video shows that he was looking for Kaylee's remains. Now, Dominic Casey denies the claim, and now the Anthony family is speaking out about the man behind the camera, Hoover, who they say they feel betrayed by that man. By virtue of my re representation, it is my videotape, not Mr. Hoover's. And our position is that he has taken this tape from us and uh, tried to shop it and, and tried to profit from a tragedy uh, that he has no right to be involved in. Now again, Jim Hoover no longer works for the Anthony family, but we did speak with his attorney who says that several people have offered money for the tape, but he wouldn't comment on whether Hoover actually tried to sell the tape to the media. But again, the irony in all of this is that the Anthony's private eyes were looking in this exact area that you're looking at right now. And of course, this is where little Kaylee's body was found just down the street from the Anthony family home. And of course, they were looking in this area one month before Kaylee's remains were found back in December. For now, reporting live, I'm Tiffany Tift, Local 6 Morning News. All right, Tiffany, thank you for that. Coming up next half hour, we'll check back in with Tiffany. New details revealed about meter reader Roy Kronk, including his former job as a bounty hunter and why he may be getting some big bucks for an appearance on a national morning news show.